to my channel where we take old clothes and make it fashion. Today I'm wearing this beautiful, it's kind of like navy wool blazer. I really love how these big lapels are just making me look so royal. And also the sleeve is just put in there in this way that it has a little bit of this mm, I don't know, it makes me just look daddy, daddy, rich, rich, daddy, daddy. I don't know if the people used to be smaller back in the day, but the sleeves are too short and I hate that feeling like these short sleeve jackets bare wrists I don't like it so we're gonna give this like posh blazer a little bit of a streetwear kind of twist in a couture kind of way we're gonna do some needle felting and basically embroider needle felt flames on the jacket and elongate the sleeves a little bit so that it's just gonna be more comfortable for the cold days to come so i found all these knitwears in like fiery colors if you don't know what needle felting is it's basically a way of felting but with needles uh, sounds logical and this is the tool that you would need for it i've done it before on my channel and the needles are barbed so when you push it through more layers of fabric basically the fibers of the upper fabric will penetrate the lower fabric and it will get attached especially suitable for wool fabrics of course so as a first step i'm gonna get the lining out of the jacket not everywhere but just in the bottom so that I can put my mat in between the lining and the fabric later. And these little seam rippers may look innocent, but believe me, they're not. So watch out to not rip your fabric open with this little sharp thing or pinch yourself like I just did before. And I'm gonna cut off the cute buttons because I don't wanna break my needles on it later. So yeah, I guess there's more ways that can lead to roam, but I'm just gonna fold out the hemline of the sleeves because I realized that's the perfect length. So I'm just gonna close my slit with like a top stitch. I mean, we're not gonna see it anyway. It's gonna be covered. So I'm just gonna start with cutting the flame shapes. It does have a finishing in the hemline. I'm gonna use that as the finishing of my hemline so that it's not gonna fray when we're wearing it. So I started off this project in a little bit of the wrong direction, but I decided to cut it out of the video to not make it unbearably long and confusing. A long story short, I had this like flame colored knitwear that I wanted to embroider or attach to the sleeves and I thought I will do that with needle felting. I was already predicting this was not gonna look that good, so I was kind of changing the plan whilst I was already starting. So now we're just gonna prepare the colored knits first with fusible adhesive. So you need like baking paper for that. To first attach the fusible adhesive on the knitwear. Take care guys, do not use sandwich paper like I did because then you will not get the paper off anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut the jumper open at the seams. Basically cut a piece of fusible adhesive the same size and attach it to the garments. Don't forget to, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> don't forget to protect your ironing board. So the plan is now to use the yellow knitwear as the base and then cut the flames of the red orange color and stick that on top of the yellow. I'm just looking at some Google images with to eyeball what a flame more or less looks like. <laughs> Drawing the flames like that on there was actually surprisingly easy. It looks more difficult than it is, but of course you can also trace flames from paper or something like that. At this point, honestly guys, I'm already a few hours in. I'm making all the mistakes that you can possibly make and I just didn't want to put it all in the video, but just mention it so that you know that it is normal to make mistakes, you know. I went to the shop and bought this cute wool yarns. Well, I'm just gonna use that to pimp it up a little and I'm gonna use that as a little bit of contouring of the flames. I'm just gonna punch with my needles through the yarn. You can see that this yarn is super like loose. I think that's what makes it so suitable for felting. Just really have to watch out with your fingers because I've been punching myself already. When I want to work a little more precise, this one needle tool comes in handy and you can just direct it a little bit better if you just use one needle at a time. It does feel a little bit like ants, as we say in the Netherlands, but sometimes you just need a little bit more of a gentle touch, I suppose. Baby's on fire. 
We better throw her on the water. So, voila. That's my fiery blazer. Do you think it's lit? Do you think it's on fire? Do you think it's cool? Let me know in the comments, please. I think it turned out pretty nice and it's a good technique to kind of make badges, but with this kind of contouring with a wool thread, it makes it look just a touch more like three-dimensional and finished. Now that I know kind of this technique, like using fusible adhesive to just make the big patches and then contour it with a wool thread, I think the second time it will go much quicker. I think for our first try, it looks pretty cool. My roommate was kind of suggesting to wear this with like this kind of workwear pants in like a bright orange color, for example. And I think that's such a cool idea. Only I don't have one. If you do anything inspired by my channel, my videos, or you just want me to see it, don't forget to hashtag fashion rack on Instagram and tag me because I want to see what you're doing. So please let me know if you enjoyed this video with a thumbs up and a comment. And if you didn't subscribe yet, please do that because I do crazy and cool stuff every week because I want to spread my upcycling message to the moon and back and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks guys, bye.